Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gia, I teach meditation, I channel spiritual inspiration, and I'm a sound healer. Using my voice, a crystal singing bowl, and tonight I'll be playing a harmonium as well. You can't see it, but it's right here out of frame. And tonight, I'm filming a video for quite a heavy topic, uh, but one that I know the universe has been asking me to speak about for a while. Um, this week, today is... August 5th, 2019, and um, this past weekend and past week, we've seen at least three mass shootings in America. And um, I knew that they would happen. I knew that we would have more shootings. Um, unfortunately, it just seems to be the way life is flowing right now. And I know that the universe, God, has been asking me to pour through some light around this topic. I feel that it's a situation that I, as a light worker and an earth angel, have been called to shed light on and uh, do some healing work around. So um, this is some heavy stuff. And if what I'm talking about doesn't vibe with you or resonate with you, with all due respect, click off to another video um, because this is meant for the people that feel it in their heart and know this truth and for the people who it inspires and resonates with. So much love and respect to everyone and your opinions. And I'm going to be sharing some, uh, you know, some heavy stuff. Well, you know, I don't want to even get started on gun control <laughs> because uh, that's a bit out of our hands at this moment. And um, it is frustrating and it is scary and it is really, really hard. Um, but I know that there's a reason why the universe hasn't allowed gun control to take place just yet. And it's because for some reason, some higher order, we are seeing growth. We are seeing some type of expansion from these experiences. And as hard as that is to accept that there could possibly be growth and a light from such tragedies, uh, it's our only choice to have faith in the master plan and to have faith in the higher order of things and to see how things are playing out. And so through my intuition and through my uh, spiritual connection to angels and the angelic realm, I have intuited some wisdom about what's been going on on our earth plane with these shootings and why they're taking place. Why gun control hasn't, you know, changed so that we can prevent these shootings because for whatever reason, something is being served by these horrible tragedies. I have to point out that um, it's only men committing these mass shootings and, dare I say, mostly white men. And what I'm intuiting is that this very violent, intense response from these white men is a part of the unconscious, the shadow side of the divine masculine that is expressing its rage and its pain over all of time. And not to say that, you know, other men or women have not experienced pain, that they shouldn't be allowed to express it, you know, in, in a healthy way. And I just think that because, you know, white men specifically have been held to this standard of being top dog, being the ones with all the privilege, I think there hasn't been space for them especially to express their pain. And I'm learning a lot about how, you know, with the Divine Feminine rising, we also have a need for the Divine Masculine to rise up and clear out the shadow. And for all of our known existence really as humans, um, at least in our culture, in our westernized culture, men have been so suppressed in their ability to share their emotions and their pain. And I think all of that, you know, stuffing, suppressing of pain and emotion into the shadow is unfortunately being released as these violent acts of insanity and complete hate. And so, um, you know, for other cultures, for other races of men, Maybe they've had other outlets to express their pain through music, through rap, through not being um, the one who's looked up to as the one with the most power. And for white men, there is a nasty, crazy amount of shadow pain 
that has yet to be honored and yet to be owned and yet to be loved and healed. And I think that, you know, we saw the Me Too movement with women coming out and speaking their pain. And, you know, that is a healthy form of expression. And right now, you know, the unconscious, the shadow side of the divine masculine is expressing rage through violence. And in a way, I feel that it's still happening because there's still more pain that needs to be shared. And we're all waking up to it. We're all learning how to hold that pain and hold that sadness and hold that rage with endless compassion. I could go on and on, but what I'm feeling called to do is really hold space for that pain that especially these white men are feeling. Enough pain to go and murder a bunch of people. That's some serious pain, some serious shame and hatred. And they probably don't even realize how much of the collective unconscious is fueling their heinous acts. And so I'm sensing just as a light worker, as an intuitive, that we need to bring so much love and compassion and grace to this pain that's showing up. And that's how we're going to transform it the most. And so while, you know, we tend to want to pray for the victims' families, I really want to pray for all the men out there who are currently planning more mass shootings because there will be more. There are men out there right now thinking of their next violent act, planning their mass shooting, getting their weapons ready, and that's where we have a chance to make a difference. We can't take back all that's happened. You know, all the people who have died, they're in a way better place. They're all in heaven in the loving light of God's embrace. And so they don't need our prayers. Who needs our prayers are the guys out there wanting to commit more violence. They need us. So what if through our intention, through the power of our meditation, through the power of music, through our energy and our vibration, we could send out a loving message to anybody out there wanting to commit a mass shooting and just send them endless love to heal whatever pain they're feeling, wrap them up in light and send them a message of hope that they don't have to do this. They can wake up and heal and not be controlled by the darkness. So that's my calling. That's my mission is to pray and heal the people who are still alive on this planet hurting and wanting to take that rage out on innocent people. (sighs) I know, it's heavy. It's a lot. Um, But I have a big, big heart for this. And so tonight I wanted to share some healing songs that um, I'll invite you to sing with me if you feel so inspired. These are songs that um, have poured through me recently or in the recent past, and uh, they're for healing, they're for transformation, and they're for bringing light to the earth. So I can't wait to share them with you and have you sing along with me. But first, let's go ahead and meditate and tune in and really send out this vibration of love to the divine masculine, the wounded shadow, the hurting hearts out there that are being pulled into darkness and pulled into insanity and pulled into hatred through just a deafening amount of fear and anger and rage. So if you will, join me in closing our eyes. Dropping into the center of our hearts. (sighs) Tuning in with that light, that frequency, that vibration, and letting absolutely everything else fall away. Because God knows that the love in the heart is all that really matters at this time. So imagine releasing your judgments, releasing your anger, your frustration, your fear, your sadness at this time. And just letting the vibration of love in your heart be the predominant energy you're carrying. And as we sing and chant together... Let's let this be the vibration we send out to the universe, to the earth, to any man who is planning a violent act, 
to anyone in the darkness, to anyone who is hurting, to anyone who has lost someone through these shootings, let's just send this incredible wave of light through sound, through love, through intention to the world. This first song is one that I wrote after the Las Vegas mass shooting. Um, I think it was 2017 in October and it really, really moved me. It was one of the first, well, it was a shooting that really, really rocked me. And um, this song came through me and it's for everyone. So please join me in singing. So it's a call and response. I'll sing the first line, you repeat it back. In the sorrow of the night, in the sorrow of the night, I'll bring my light, I'll bring my light. On the darkest of your days, on the darkest of your days, I'll send love your way, I'll send
Like the ending of a dream, like the ending of a dream. We're awakening, we're awakening. There's no reason to be scared, there's no reason to be scared. We'll be guided there, we'll be guided there. You're not alone, you're not alone. Come with me back home, come with me back home. Under the sun, under the sun, you and I are one, you and I are one. There is one. May every heart be healed of its pain. May every voice know how to sing. May every being be loved unconditionally. May all darkness be healed and brought to the light, and so it is. And I'd like to share with you one more chant. I was going to sing two more, but I think I'll just share with you one more for now. Um, it's a song that I wrote called I Am Forgiven, and it's a call to the Divine Mother to hold us in her loving embrace and remind us that no matter what has transpired in life, we are forgiven, everyone is forgiven, everyone is healed, and everyone is brought into love and light. Please repeat after me. Oh, Mama, hold me. Oh, Mama, hold me. Mama, embrace me, Mama, embrace me, and lay my burdens down, and lay my burdens down. I am loved in every way, I am loved in every way, and I am healed of any pain, I am healed of any pain, I am May all hearts be forgiven for the atrocities that they are planning or that have taken place. May all souls be loved, whether in this realm or beyond, whether in the darkness or in the light. May all hearts be healed. May we embrace each other in this infinite light and bring all shadow back into 
the healing love of God's embrace. Thank you so much for listening and also singing with me. This is something I've been wanting to share for a while, so I'm very honored to um, have shared this message. And I feel like we should ask our angels for a little more guidance tonight, so I'm going to pull from this Archangel Oracle deck. And if, by the way, if you love these cards and you want a deck of your own, there's a link in the description so that you can buy them on Amazon. Um, they are so helpful for just tuning in and hearing our wisdom from our guides and angels. So God, please provide us a message this evening for what's been happening with the mass shootings in America. Sensitivity. Archangel Heniel, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. So this may be a representative of like the shadow emotions coming up. Please, angels and guides, provide us with any more light and wisdom you have for us. Spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So, you know, let's pull our third card and I think we'll see what the message is very clearly. All is well. Archangel Jeremiel, everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. I think this is what we all needed to hear, is that despite tragedy, despite confusion, despite loss of life, despite all of this insanity, all is well. And can we really believe in that? And can we really find faith? And I think this spread your wings card is like, hey, you're an earth angel. Like, don't forget that. Like, you have the power to make change through meditations like this, through song, through loving the people around you and your own heart. It's time to spread your wings and be the divine earth angel that you are. Sensitivity, we're coming into an awareness of the shadow issues that are arising for us. And all is well. That's all for tonight, guys. I just wanted to share this message with you. Um, I love you guys so much. I'll be back to the regular programming pretty soon, but it felt really important that I share these songs with you tonight. So um, many blessings to you. May you share your love and your song and your light with everyone you encounter, knowing that we are waking up the earth. We are waking up from this dream, this nightmare of tragedy and violence into the loving realms of heaven. God's love, God's embrace, and God's plan for our earth. Let's really trust it. If you love my channel, please subscribe. You can donate to this channel on Patreon. Just go to patreon.com forward slash divinelygia. If you want to connect more often, follow me on Instagram. I post there basically daily. You can uh, send me a direct message and let me know how you're doing. If you want to work with me privately, I do energy healing sessions both in person and remote. Go to divinelygia.com. Check out my other offerings. I love you guys so much, and um, in September, September 23rd to 27th, I'm going to be leading a free online event called the Positivity Experience. It's the second time I'm running this event, and I really feel like it's going to help raise the vibration and bring a lot of love to this earth that is experiencing so much pain in so many different ways. Um, so if you want to join me, go to thepositivityexperience.com, and it's a totally free event. It's five days. It's all online. And um, I just want to connect everybody in the world in a positive, loving, light way. So I'd love to have you join us. Again, it's in September. Just go to thepositivityexperience.com to sign up. Love you guys so much. Have the most blissful night.